something else to consider, but yeah, the surgeries are definitely not the focal point here. It was just the micro, the decision making, where to fight. Harding was like, that was a, that was a fiery one. That was if it's pulling, so he just puts two dots. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, whatever, man. Let's go into game number four on Coda right now. Yoi Flash Wolves Party, one is up versus. TCM Gaming Soul King, Kim Min Chol. Here in the top left, in the yellow, our Protoss player came back from a nightmare game. It is parting. And his opponent down to the bottom in purple. Sulky taking a tough loss there. <laughs> Sulky's angry after that one. Oh, for sure. That was a really tough loss, man. Well, Sulky's still got a couple more games. I think he'll just go aggressive again. Maybe we'll see that pool. 11 pool again. Yeah. Could be. I don't think so though. Oh, yeah, it will it be. Is. It is. This is a good map for it. Both Echo and Coda, both good maps for proxies for aggressive plays like this. You know where your opponent spawns. You know the rush distance. It's finite. It's small. It's 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 simple. It's so simple it might work. Harding is going to go for gateway in the main. That's good. No Nexus first this time. Took a lot of damage doing Nexus first in the first game. I don't think he'll do it again. Sulky's just too likely to do something like this. Now, the, you know, unfortunate and annoying thing for parting with this gateway, I mean, the placement is good, but it's still in his main base, which means he can't tight wall the top of his ramp, which means that he's going to have to micro really well, and he's going to probably have to use his probes a little bit just to deflect these lings. And taking a Nexus is going to be, for a long time, kind of out of the question. But notice the placement of these pylons. He knows exactly how to do this to make sure that he can be safe. Uh, and he's going to be able to wall and, and kind of get things up a little bit more tightly. Uh, this is what, of course, we call a Sim City in StarCraft terms. Mm -hmm. He's going to be able to kind of build that. Yummy. Sim City doesn't make me think of food, Valdez, but whatever, <laughs> whatever helps you visualize. Whatever floats my boat, right? As long as it's not The Sims, we're cool. <laughs> I never played The Sims. Well, you're better off for it, unless you like making people accidentally get locked into their house and die of starvation <laughs> or something like that or, or set the house on fire while they're Is trying to Is that the cook. fun part of The Sims? That's what people always tell Killing me, Killing people? <laughs> I've never played what? it, but I have watched people play it. Not on Twitch, I would never do that, but I mean, when I was a kid, my friends would play it on the uh, computer. I would never watch that game on Twitch. <laughs> I would never. Uh-oh, guess what? Zealot's out of position. Ooh. And those lings are going to run circles around it. Well, not really. They're just going to laterally <laughs> run, run by. <laughs> Another Zealot is on the way. Soki is transitioning into a hatchery behind this. He's not committing big time into this. As his overlord let him know what was up. He makes two more lings. Six. Looks like he will commit a bit. Maybe he sees the Sim City and he's like, well, maybe I can get this Nexus. He's making 14 more. Wow. So he really is going to commit. Yeah, big time to this commit. Is Remember that game I was talking about with life that I where like he barely held it. Mm -hmm. It was exactly like this. The building placement, almost exactly the same, same sort of situation. Uh, this is a very, very, very difficult thing to do with this type of building, uh, you know, building placement in the main rather than having a tight wall. But Soki has committed heavily, and if Parting lives, he's going to have so much potential for counterattacks with warp gate research and, you know, potentially Stargate Tech, whatever he wants to choose. By the way, I want to say that um, I'm really happy that Solky stays consistent with the way he's playing. It just shows that he has so much respect for parting that he just doesn't want to face him straight up. He's like, yeah, I, I just got to do this. He's also it just seems like these days playing more and more aggressive, and it's definitely working for him. Really nice surrounds here on the Zealots. Good micro, though, by parting to try to squeeze them away. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. Gonna try to split the attention here, parting into two groups. Probes are coming down to try to save that Nexus. Oh, I don't know about this. He's gonna lose so many probes if he does this. Good control, though. Insanely good control. What am I even seeing wow. here? 
okay, TIL, you can just fight a bunch of 10 plus links together with just probes and like a zealot <laughs> if you can micro like parting. More links coming though. Is parting the Michael Jordan of Starcraft? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. He's uh, he's out there, him and Zest. Okay, well. He's just delaying so much mining time too. Those are all of parting's probes. I feel like Parting is going to at least, you know, survive here with now the ability to use tech. Uh, he's not in a great position, but I feel like he's okay here. You know, he's going to have a sentry out in a second. He can stabilize the probes of Chrono Boost. And he's got this scary warp gate tech that Sulky is going to have to account for. He doesn't have any other tech, though, and that's something Sulky is very aware of. He's like, yeah. I don't have to make any spores. I don't have Sees to worry about that. entire base. No big deal. Just droning up his two bases. Maybe he'll take a third. Drop, like, a safe Roach Warren or something. I see him finally taking those gases. Mm. Close eye on the worker count. Solki's making three overlords right now, but he's heavily supply blocked, so wouldn't read too much into it. Mm. Especially considering he doesn't have any gas to make roaches with. Zero gas. And just going into more drones. You know what? Um, if if Parting can, excuse me, if Parting can identify this, uh, a big zealot warp gate attack would be very strong. Okay, he is starting to mine gas now, though. Mm. Solki makes a spine crawler just in case, and he's going to layer off two base. Oh. Looks like maybe going for that third base now. That third is. Yeah, doing them at the same time. Well, <laughs> as I say that, maybe he's like looking for pylons or something. I wouldn't blame him. This is a very scary time for Solki with that work gate research. I guess he's just going to take the base all the way to the bottom left. Smart. Parting in such a good place, though, to attack. That's why he's making all these spines. He's just holding the top of the ramp and having a little hidden base far away from his main. Overlord's getting pushed back. Not Actually, much for Silky to see just yet, just three gates. Yeah. I think once these overlords are gone, he'll just put down more gates. I think so. Yeah. I'm not I'm not sure. One extra. And another one. Okay. There we go. Base getting up here about halfway done. He wants to clear this ling off, so it looks like he's gonna take another base. Keep in mind, this is Parting's mm. tournament life on the line here. Yeah, he doesn't want to be kicked out of Kespa Cup in the round of 16. And he's actually just going to put it all on this push. He's going to put his tournament life on this attack. Well, he does have a transition point here. He does have that Forge, Twilight Council, and Robotics Facility coming up as he pushes. But he does have a lot of gates up. Like, if this doesn't do a significant amount of damage, all those all those points, or all those, those things are kind of moot points because... He just simply can't afford to use them all on two bases after committing to this many sentries and the gateways you were just talking about. So he needs to do damage here. He can't just go, oh, never mind, a recall. There's, that's almost never going to work. Okay, four more stalkers, a big commitment here. He needs to do some damage. He's going to come over here and he's going to see an empty third and he's going to be like, what? Okay, no, he finds this nice. base. That's really big. Okay, he's just going to ignore it though because it's empty, just like the game before. Okay. Oh, and is done. Sulky is just going for a counter attack. He's not even going to fight that. He's going straight to the main. What is there? There is one sentry, but it's only one. It's only one, and he's going to have to react quick. He's got one force field. One. He needs another round of warp ends right away. This base is going to go down, but Harding's whole army is killing an empty hatchery. Another force field comes down. Clutch timing on that one. There is a cannon on the way as well. He may want to recall some units home. Okay, he's going to recall everything home. <laughs> but I like Sulky's position. Kind of not going to be powered. So much now. Like, he, he's lost a base, sure, but he has the better tech, and he's keeping Parting contained. Keep in mind, though, uh, Parting transitioning into that uh, same kind of Blink Stalker sentry play that we saw in the last game, and he looks so strong with that. If Sulky lets him get there, I don't know. Yeah, could true. be dangerous. Could be very, very dangerous once again. But this also, time he does get those upgrades. Yeah. Gets the plus one. Also, um, Sulky, you know, he's 
uh, again, under false assumption there's no observer, and there is, in fact, and it's going to cost him big here. Look at these force fields. The parting donut. <laughs> More like a upside-down triangle. Yeah, almost looked like a heart, but not quite. Mm. Parting was just shaking his hand. Hope his hand isn't hurting. Well, I mean, when you're dropping force fields like that, man, you're probably, <laughs> like, setting your hand on fire. Okay. Oh, boy. Again, three, four more roaches get trapped. Bird movement is finally done. Blink forward is what I'm talking about. You can't really be out on the map against all these Blink Stalkers unless your army's together. But actually, he's drawing the army way out of position. For a counterattack. He's got a lot of spines up. Let me check exactly how many if this becomes a base trade. There's actually only two spines up. Let's see how Parting is going to actually respond to this. The ball is in Parting's court now. Does he go for the elimination race? Looks like he's going to. Moving, pushing forward right now. The Roach is buying a little bit more time here again for Soki. He's got to split those Roaches. I would love to see some going to the main. Just going to recall. Roach is on the escape. Trying to kill even more probes. Parting is running out of money in these bases. Keep in mind, Soki is not mining from his third base at all. He's on 45 drones. Yeah, this is something he needs to change ASAP. And uh, one pylon got spotted earlier. It's going to go down as well. Parting is running out of options. He has a good um, army, just like the previous game. He can win with it, but he needs to make a decisive decision right now. I, I know that's redundant. Decisive but he, decision. Make it parting. It needs to be, like, confident. The most decisive decision. Yeah, it has to be very... It has to be, like, a decision where he says, all right, I'm going to commit to this. Because running back and forth and recalling again is just going to give Sulky more room. And eventually, Sulky is just going to be able to mine from his third base, and Parting is going to be out of luck. Okay, starting, right now. starting this engagement. Setting up that concave at the bottom of the ramp. All of this is on creep. Spinecrawler is getting into position two. They're going to help out a lot. Yeah. Warp oh. full of sentries. He's Here we go. go. And he can blink. But he uses his blink on the... Is he going to get it? No. The thing is, it doesn't matter because there's borough movement, right? I mean, he's stuff like oh, yeah, that's he, true. he could have a concave <laughs> at the top of the ramp. I mean, it's it's a good point, though. Like, if he has a concave at the top of the oh, ramp. Oh, look at that. Trying to pull the army out of position with a fake war prison. This is such a scary parting army. Okay, Guardian Shield goes up. Force fields all over. Time warp oh, gets dropped God. as well. Borough movement roaches. Some of them do get on top of those sentries. The parting is just taking this army piece by piece apart. Now on the chase, a few of these roaches to the north. But don't forget, his main base is nearly mined out. He's running out of money. He's going to have to make this work with the army he has right here, right now. Force is on the left side, but on the right, there is some service area for these roaches to pick away at these stalkers. He's going only roach up against this, con, uh, this kind of army. He needs hydras in the back. He's got nothing. He's going to try to burrow movement underneath this, but this is just so many stalkers. Some of those observers were out of position for a second there, so he actually got underneath those force fields without taking damage. But I don't know if it's going to matter. Party's army is just so strong. He's got plenty of zealots up here at the front of the tank. And transfusers go down here a bit. More and more force fields. They never end. But Boop. finally they do, actually, as all of these entries are picked off. And the stalkers are so low, you guys actually can't see, but so many of them are actually in deep, deep red. As they try to survive with these shields, Parting is trying to make this work. He's micring his heart out. Spine goes down. The mothership is actually going to go down as well, it looks like here. Huge warp into Stalkers. Eight roaches are on the way. Ooh, looks like he's going to go to the third base. And he's going to go for it. This is important. This is actually the most important thing that, that Soki can't really give to him. He can't let him have this. Soki does have plus two on these roaches. Don't forget that as well. Look at this micro. Miscook here by Soki targeting the, micro, the Stalker that blinked back. He's just trying to push his way forward because so many of these stalkers are so in the red. You guys can't even see the full picture here because these stalkers are almost dead, every single one of them. But because of this good micro by party, it doesn't matter. Look at what happens when he fights for like two seconds. The stalkers start popping so quickly because they're so low right now. This, this fight is, is unbelievably close. It really, really is. Unbelievably close. Look at the stalkers on the, on the display to the bottom. The fresh ones are newly warped in. Every other one has got like 10 plus kills on it. Oh, man. That might just be it. He's lost it 12 drones. And he warped in a bunch of sentries. He's going to have force fields. Oh, there it is. GG.
We're going and to Silk is angry. Silk is really angry after that loss. Oh boy, Valdez, what is happening? <laughs> Parting. Parting is happening. This is him. He's winning these games, and Silky just doesn't have the answer. He's staying on very low economy, trying to be hyper aggressive with only burrow movement roaches, and it's it feels like Parting just you can't you can't crush him. You can't get to him. He somehow holds on every single time. He's so good at that. And his control with these blink stalkers, so, so good. Like, I can't even. Yeah, man, he's the best. I You're looking at the best it. right now. It's like him and Hero with the blink stalkers in particular. And Silky, man, I, I think he's got to change it up a bit. I think so, too. But, but what does he change it up to? Play straight up? Or does he switch up how he's aggressive? Maybe he proxy has his, it's Iron Fortress, the map. Parting gives up the full, very polite congratulations.